And this one was sent off to SAR for some testing. And, you know, I don't know, they probably put four or five, six hundred rounds to it or something. And probably not much more than that because it is just a test. And I'm sure it's had four or five hundred rounds to it and some sort of demos and other things that we've done. But what's kind of cool is, is it doesn't really take much. You know, people are worried about um, ease and maintenance in the field. And the, the truth really is, is that you can, you can without oil, return this to, um, to 100% reliability with a baby wipe. So your MREs are now cleaning kits for your rifle. So, yeah, baby wipes are, are magic. That's, that's they one. Are, one. But the problem with phosphating is phosphating and baby wipes don't work so well, whereas one of these high speed, high tech coatings is a lot more conducive to taking a water, you know, type cleaner and being able to see the stuff just sits on the outside. You see that? Mm hmm. Okay, so it was like that here, and it's gone. I just twisted it once. So you're looking at being able to maintain this That's with awesome. very little work. Now, sure, you should always clean your gun. Your guns always work better when they're clean. But should you be put in a position where you need a gun that needs to run, and it's not running right now because the you know the fouling got is in there for a long time and expanded because you've got a humidity change, which is what happens to this, because it's what's called, as, it's known as hygroscopic, so it draws water. That means it expands. I've seen these guns quit because the, you know, you got two, three, four thousand rounds of stuff in there, and then you get a humidity change, and the gun just kind of freezes up. I've watched one of these things cleaned in a mud puddle. Huh. We dipped it in a mud puddle. Impressive. Yeah, and then we shot the rest of the day. Yeah, two, three, four hundred rounds. Full <laughs> auto, semi-auto. I didn't see a problem. And now uh, this one was uh, shot in Nevada. Uh, wherever we sent it for Where SAR, I don't remember. We sent it to New York or what, man? These guys. Yeah. So totally in a different climate than we have here in the in the Northwest. Right. They put a few hundred rounds through it, sent it back. Um, so we're talking a couple weeks time, easy that it that this carbon has had had to cement itself on and it's coming right off with a paper it's towel. It's actually more like been about six or eight months. <laughs> okay. So this thing has been sitting around for six or eight months. It's been fired multiple times since then. It's been to the range here in Oregon several times. We do use good quality ammo. I'm not going to say we don't. We use typically most stuff that goes through is going to be American Eagle, um, you know, or F, uh, Federal or and I'm not going to say it didn't have some PMC through it. PMC is good ammo, so mm -hmm. stuff that we would, you know, that's not going to void your warranty or anything. Now, one of the things you'll end up doing is you'll want to oil this area, but once we've cleaned it off and knocked the big chunks off, your the reliability of this thing is going to be pretty much all the way back. And that's something that's been sitting around for, like I said, six, eight months. So, it was almost early last year that we got this thing sent off. So after a couple wipes with paper towel, yeah, got clean thumb. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you could almost pass your military inspection there. <laughs> Not quite, but you know, it's like... Because I was an armor. Yeah, exactly. I, I was that guy that kicked it back. Yeah, you were. Okay. <laughs> so if you're halfway impressed, then, you know... And this is something that can be done in a field. This is not something that you need to be sitting around the barracks for or at home this is this is field reliability this is this is an Oregon gun an Oregon coast gun and really we've got a lot of people that we've done hunting guns for and it's the same business mm -hmm. their hunting guns turn out even better I think <laughs> they, they they can take them out and they can take them out in this horrible weather that would end up rusting anybody else's gun and they don't have to worry it's like peace of mind, and it's it's easily, you know, these coastal environments are really the best test of these things because a dry environment, you know, you know it's dusty and stuff, but you're not going to see it rusting. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're not going to see it.